Bitcoin. Love it or hate it, it does have a unique problem that other currencies don't have. Every Bitcoin transaction that has ever been made remains public on the blockchain forever. That's a big problem for many fatal reasons. When your transaction history is public, you can't expect financial privacy. Outside investigation companies can trace who you trade with without needing to purchase that data from retailers. It's out there for free for everyone. That's pretty bad in the days of big data surveillance where every industry is trying to rank your profile file and predict your behavior so that they can squeeze more money out of you one way or another. The good news is you can create a Bitcoin address completely anonymously with no personally identifiable information attached, but that will last only for as long as you don't make or receive any Bitcoin transaction that can lead to your identity. If you purchase your first Bitcoins with a credit card on an online exchange, your privacy is over. If you're lucky enough to get freshly mined bitcoins into your anonymous wallet, the moment you spend it with any retailer that obtains your name or real delivery address, their records will be your nightmare. I'm not saying it's impossible to obtain and use bitcoin anonymously. There are additional tools like coin shufflers, Tor, virtual machines, the lightning network, and amazing OPSEC that can achieve anonymity on bitcoin. But that's a lot of work and on the long enough timeline, most people are not savvy enough to keep their bitcoin finances private. To be fair, transparent blockchains aren't unique to Bitcoin. All cryptocurrencies out there have the same problem. All except for one. Monero. Monero is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies on the market. And for a good reason. It does something very differently. Its blockchain is opaque. Meaning transactions, while still broadcast to the ledger, are untraceable. For each transaction, Monero obfuscates both sending and receiving addresses as well as transacted amount. This is done by default without needing any additional tools. It's a so-called always-on privacy feature because users of Monero can't select non-private transactions. This always-on privacy is crucial to Monero's financial anonymity. A few other cryptocurrencies give you the option to selectively obfuscate certain information in some transactions. But this selective privacy makes private transactions stand out. And Attackers can focus on targeting them if they want to find identifiable information. With Monero, you would have to attack the entire blockchain to de-anonymize Monero users. A core component of Monero's private transactions are stealth addresses. On behalf of the recipient, Monero automatically creates a random one-time address for every new transaction. Even if the recipient publishes just one address, like I did with my YouTube Monero wallet, where it can donate anonymously. All incoming transactions will be published as going to unique addresses that cannot be linked neither to the recipient nor to any other addresses. And while still being broadcast to the blockchain, only the recipient and sender can know where their payments went. The best thing is, sending and receiving money is no different than copying addresses. The Monero wallet handles all the privacy magic and you don't have to take any additional steps. To the end user, it's no different from using Bitcoin. With such strict anonymity rules, is this useful beyond the dark net, like in the real world where you need auditing and accounting capabilities? Well, luckily Monero developers have been thinking about the taxman too. When they come through the door asking for their totally fair and morally justifiable share of your hard-earned money, you can create a watch-only wallet with your private view key that will allow them to see your balance and incoming transactions. Blockchain cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are all trying to be an alternative to the central banking and decentralized transaction systems like Visa or MasterCard. Monero is doing one more thing. It's trying to emulate cash. You see, cash is anonymous. As opposed to credit card payments, cash payments don't require personally identifiable information. Cash is the most available way of protecting your purchasing habits. Don't use loyalty cards and pay cash in physical stores and you should be fine. But cash is fading out and facial recognition inevitably coming to physical stores will destroy anonymity of cash payments. Monero is a digital continuation of cash. It keeps the concept of financial privacy alive with some ingenious cryptography. To digitally sign transactions, blockchains like Bitcoin use private keys that are unique to each Bitcoin wallet. That is why it's possible to uniquely trace each Bitcoin transaction to each Bitcoin spent. Monero uses ring signatures. Instead of just transparently using your unique private key, ring signatures is formed from a group of keys, one of which is your private key and some of which are public keys from past transactions 
already published on the blockchain. The concept of ring signatures is that it should be computationally infeasible to identify which key from the group was used to sign a transaction. This cryptography magic gives Monero a unique property that is absent from all other cryptocurrencies. Fungibility. Fungibility is an issue of a major contention in the Bitcoin community. It basically means that any two units of a currency are completely interchangeable and can be substituted for one another. The best example from the physical world is gold. Every ounce of gold of the same grade is worth the same as another ounce of gold. Cash is semi-fungible. Every $10 bill is worth the same, although they do come with imprinted unique ID numbers. Bitcoin is not fungible at all. Any coin on the Bitcoin network can be traced back to its original point of creation, which means if Bitcoin was used for an illegal activity, it will remain part of its history forever. Not technically on the Bitcoin network, but in the minds of organizations and individuals with records of those activities. There are companies that focus on tracing Bitcoins for illicit activities or other purposes on behalf of government, law enforcement and other organizations. One such company was valued at $1 billion. This creates an illusion of certain coins being being tainted by their history. This may be an issue if you own coins that have been used for an illegal activity and are now traced by an investigation agency. This can have severe ramifications. In China, for example, potentially thousands of cryptocurrency users had their accounts frozen because they owned coins involved in illegal activities. The concept of tainted coins is not technically real, but in the minds of law enforcement investigators, it doesn't matter what you think. If they are tracing coins because of their history that now happen to be in your wallet, there is nothing you can do about it. Sound money needs to address socio-political issues just as much as it needs to address technical and economic issues. Monero is the only currency that takes such a comprehensive approach. Tax agencies and banks are the number one enemies of private cryptocurrencies. The IRS offered $625,000 for anyone that cracks Monero and Bitcoin Lightning Network protocols. One company that offers cryptocurrency tracing technologies has already filed two patents that claim the firm have developed probabilistic tracing of Monero users. Probabilistic means they were not able to break Monero's open source protocol, but rather use big data analysis about users of Monero to guess their identities. In other words, they can assume with some degree of certainty that you may own a particular Monero wallet based on your social media activity, device fingerprinting, browser and search records, and so on. And this is good, because it means targeting Monero users is expensive enough to render mass surveillance of Monero economically unfeasible. Something that has always been the goal of privacy advocates. Spying on targets with a proper warrant is justified. Dragnet surveillance is not. Any future where cryptocurrencies take over the financial world will necessitate the existence of a privacy coin like Monero. Everybody benefits from the financial privacy, so the demand will always be there. It doesn't have to be Monero. Any cryptocurrency that adopts its rigid anonymity will suffice. By the time of this recording, there is no other digital money like Monero, and it's still pretty cheap to get your hands on it. So what are you waiting for? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment. Donate to my Monero wallet if you feel like it, or join my channel for membership-exclusive content, or become a Patreon. Thank you for your support. Bye.